on this overcrowded episode of the NES Pursuit. Whoa! Oh. Awesome! <laughs> the entire squad heads back to the roots of retro game hunting while the skies are still dark. Woo! It's pitch black! How are we gonna film, Ricky? Ricky finds a bootleg toy that combines two of his loves. Dragon Ball and The Simpsons. Oh, why wouldn't you let me get that? I'm a Simpsons guy. But it's Goku, Simpsons, Dragon Ball. Simpsons. Riff loves his friends, but starts to get frustrated at the competition they've placed on themselves. Guys, I'm just being honest, I love you, but I wish you weren't here in the nicest way possible. NES Complex buys a colorful gift for Ricky that Ricky simply can't accept. Who deserves to get the gift next? Gabo, do you have this? Riff fills his one and only superhero need by getting an LED light for a fraction of what it's worth. D um, I don't have anything else. The boys get silly by buying mystery boxes in hopes to get an item that will send Ricky straight to the mental hospital. Of course, they bought each bought one, hoping to get a carrot to give it to me. Mr. Complex grabs a toy right under Riff's nose that has the boys drooling. Coolest thing by far in the episode. I don't care what anybody else bought or me. My favorite thing in the episode by far. Right, Gabo? Wake your retro gamer buddies and get ready for insane competition, thoughtful gifts, and grown men who refuse to grow up. This is the NES Pursuit. I, I, might, I might cry. Me, 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 me. So it's early. I wake up at 5 a.m. I have my parents come over to watch my kids because my wife is gone for the weekend. We are dedicated to be here. It's wow, 5.36 and we're going to, we're going to Surf City, Huntington Beach. Morning. Today we're in fabulous Huntington Beach at Golden West Swap Meet. Woo -hoo -hoo, it's pitch black. How are we gonna film, Ricky? I don't know. You but... said to get here at six. It's, I don't even know if anybody's here. We have a giant group of guys coming today. Fun, fun to hang out with our friends, but we're making our own competition. I don't know how excited I am about that. I mean, I'm excited to hang out, but that's a lot of competition. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is, this is Riff from Pixel Game Squad. Where are you? Are you inside us? So here we are, Golden West Swap Me. Are you really, is it like on a sinker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's this, some sweet comics, but look at the advertisement. Hook for oh, the Super Nintendo. Sweet. That's pretty cool. That's actually a really good game. So the first thing I see is some, well actually I didn't see them, Nicole saw them, was some DS games. No, <laughs> no babe, here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks babe. You're welcome. So she saw some DS games, unfortunately they were empty. I was really excited because he said everything in, in every bin is a dollar an item, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Diddy Kong racing DS for a dollar, but you know what? It's empty, but fortunately, I want empty DS cases because I use them for Game Boy Advance games. So there were three of them, a dollar each. It's not bad, but you know, that's not even necessarily a problem because these cases by themselves, I think, maybe. If you get those on, if you're just buying them on eBay or something, they're probably about $5 each last I checked. So that's a pretty good deal. I mean, I would buy it, but the problem is I already have one in my room. It's early, Ricky. Why'd we come here? No. 
<laughs> and look, they have the mask mask. Smoking! All right, so I walked down this one booth that has toys. We walk in, there's toys everywhere, but nothing really uh, catches my eye. Ricky just asked if I have two bucks to borrow. Not a five What is it? Until I look on top of a random, it looked like a little carousel thing. Oh, why wouldn't you let me get that? I'm a Simpsons guy. Don't. But it's Goku since it's Dragon it Ball was G Homer Dragon Ball GT. And it was He really have a self king. <laughs> this is Dragon Ball GT Homer. Man. I never even seen that before. It's probably a knockoff, but even if it is, it's pretty sick. So I got a Homer. It's about this big. It's a, it's a Homer Goku. Goku Homer. Pretty cool. You're in a game hunting show. Of course you should be buying things. So it feels good to be at the swap meet kind of when it's not super hot out. It's actually kind of cool and the air is kind of crisp. But the only problem I'm having is I'm not really finding anything. How did I not even see this Wii? Truth be told, we brought too many people. I literally was walking around and there's many times where I was like, guys, I'm just being honest, I love you, but there's too many of them. I wish you weren't here in the nicest way possible. There's too many people here. I'm having a hard time finding stuff. You can try not to get into too much trouble, okay? Wouldn't be sad if they got lost and we filmed most of the episode without them. In a loving way. I don't think I'm gonna make it. We're gonna be here all day, right? We make it. Just put it in with your head. Yeah! <laughs> So everybody's acting like they got the best thing. Hey, Rip already knows this is this is true right here. Coffee really does make me poop. But I got a little toilet thing that kind of reminds me of me at work because you know I drink a lot of coffee and I'm always in the restroom, so it just fits me perfectly. I spend about three hours a day in the restroom. Perfect. What are you doing? So I'm walking around and I see this little Mario with, you know, you tap its head and it's it like, it's almost like a slot machine and he hits the coin block. And his nose. And I'm thinking, you know, I just saw Ricky, he's got this Mario collection, but I didn't remember seeing it. Okay, if it, if it's all stars, then I'll do it. Uh oh. But I didn't remember seeing it, so I'm like, I'll get that for Ricky. And uh, uh, I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna actually give this to Ricky. I'm gonna buy it, but I don't know if I have that kind of heart. But I didn't remember seeing it, so I'm like, I'll get that for Ricky. And uh, I bring it over and he's like, do you have this? Yes. Dude, I, ha I have it. And I'm like, Gabo, Gabo, come over here. Do you have this? Would you want Mar, you don't even want it. He's like, dude, I have it. I have it. I have two of those. <laughs> but thank you anyway. Funny, the whole time we were doing this, never asked me if I had it, never even mentioned my name. He's like, Ricky, do you have this? Yes. This is on camera because I saw it because I was filming. He literally goes, Ricky, do you have this? And Ricky goes, oh, I have it. I don't need it. He looks at me and then goes, Gabo, do you need it? And I'm literally behind the camera like, is this real? I was trying to be nice, but now the, the decision it's much easier. I have to give it to someone else. Gabo. Did he just like make eye contact with me and then ask somebody else? And I'm like, Riff. Yeah, thank you. Riff. Thank you, guy. Do you have this? Oh, I love being sloppy thirds. <laughs> <laughs> and Riff's like, dude, I'm just like, I'm sloppy thirds. Like, you don't even care about me. You give it to everyone else first. After everything. Whoops. You're a trustworthy guy. I like you. Sometimes. Triplet three-year-olds, and this is the kind of stuff that triplet three-year-olds go nuts for. All my girls love Disney dolls and Disney princesses, and these are three bucks each. Had to get them. So me and Gavin were walking down an aisle, or a booth, and again, random, I see a little pink character like this. I run over, like almost push Gabo. 
Yes, another one, a better conditioned one than the one I have. I grab it, it's that same Kirby that I got at the other Swami, the little pulling one. So I have to pick it up. And look, she had two of them. I picked this up, he's like, oh no, I can't believe you found that. She's like, I have two. I just see Gabo behind me all bummed. He's like, dude, I need one of those. The lady, like, barely speaks English, but she's awesome. She's like, they're still. <laughs> and I was like, dude, there's another one here. A dollar each. Cha-ching! We each get one for a buck. Great deal. Good times. Kirby sucks! Okay. Coming up, Riff gets all lit up over his find, and you don't want to miss what may send Ricky down a spiral of insanity. So as I'm walking around and I'm starting to lose hope in finding stuff, this lady starts yelling at me that she has some Batman light up light and my ears kind of because I like Batman. Uh, let me let me rephrase. I love Batman. Nice. All right, she made a joke about this, like Batman. she's like like trying to sell us, but I actually think this is cooler than I thought. And Batman's my favorite superhero. Batman's my man. I've seen every Batman, everything Batman. I love collecting Batman. He is my superhero. So she shows me this little light up LED light. So this is really five bucks. Well, this is a map. Yeah. I'll buy this then. I really will. And this one is only five bucks. And Ricky tells me, hey, these are actually twenty bucks at GameStop anyway. And I look on the bottom, and there actually is a twenty price tag normally so you don't want to get the matching I don't need the toy I just want the light all right so Riff got this Batman light that I'm hoping he puts at the office so I could look at it all the time you know maybe in the background of the videos I just want but thank you I mean, you're, it's you're, a set. you can't break you're a very kidding. good sales person okay so I got a sweet Batman LED light up light for five bucks you you're not gonna beat that price um, I don't have anything else well, so let's see, we can buy three. Oh, no, come on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. A naked mud wrestling match. Or Smash Brothers. <laughs> What's up, bro? Yeah? So I was in this booth and I see the War of Nintendo Wind Waker work. I got it for eight bucks. It's a, the box is a little screwed up, but the box was a little screwed up, beat up, but for eight bucks it's a good deal. This is hard to find. For eight bucks, pretty good price. Man, Ricky sucks. Ricky, I love you. I love you, Riff. That's the way. What? Whatever. Look at that. Mm. The difference is hard skin. Uh, I need some soft. You guys are lucky I'm wearing a beanie, otherwise, I wouldn't be trying any of this stuff on. So I have Guitar Hero 3 on Wii and I love the Beatles so I, I saw a Beatles rock band on Wii. Who doesn't love the Beatles? And it, was, it said $10 on this piece of masking tape and I'm like that can't be $10, I don't want to pay $10. So I asked him and he said he'd take four. So he's, he said he'd take four dollars so I think I'll do that. Which, like, for Beatles music, dude, I would pay four dollars for one Beatles song, to be honest. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end up getting this. But this is awesome. So all I need now is a guitar, and no. everywhere, I, you know, all you need is, is love. love. Oh. <laughs> love is holding the camera right now. <laughs> no. An NES box with a giant sticker over the label. It may be Tecmo Baseball, but they still ruined the label, the front. As much as I love Cuphead and want Cuphead things for myself, I look over at this booth and they have Cuphead mystery figure boxes. How much, how much did you say they are? Eight dollars. 
And as we've joked about before in the last episode and a few episodes, long time back, Ricky got a bunch of carrots. Ooh, Ricky, that means it's for me. Before he opened it, he said, I don't even want the carrot, but he got two carrots. Over and over in his Cuphead mystery boxes. So I'm like, I gotta buy one. We have to all say a prayer that it's a carrot. That it is a carrot. We, we need this to be a carrot. Gabo's over there. He's like, I need to buy one as well. We want to buy these and hope that it's a carrot. Of course, they bought each bought one, hoping to get a carrot to give it to me. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Okay. I'm gonna keep whatever it is unless it's a carrot. I give it to Ricky. So we go over there to the corner. We start opening them. We're like, all right, Lord, bless us with a carrot. Ricky has a. He's collecting carrots. So anyone who watches this, what? if you have a carrot, let's send it to Ricky. We open it. I open mine. Carrot, carrot. Wait, feel it, feel it. Oh, oh, it's so not a carrot. I think it's, oh. I think it's the Brutus guy. It's the, the, the Bruto or Blutus or Pluto, whatever his name is, the pirate. It is. Dang it, Ricky, I was hoping it was a oh. carrot. Dang it. I had only one desire, carrots. I wanted carrots, I wanted to see two carrots. Carrot, 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 Ooh, we're carrot. we're all vegan. Galvo opens his. No, let's see. I was hoping it was a carrot. It would have been so funny. What do you get? What do you get? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, they got the bru wait, wait, Brutus. Wait, wait is, this, is this the new no yeah, carrot? The new uh, this is the new carrot. New but luckily enough, they were stuck with Bruno. <laughs> Brutus? Bruno? Brutus? Funny enough, interesting enough, it's almost like the pirates becoming the new carrot. Okay. Pirate is the new carrot. You heard it here first. Five uh, bucks? <laughs> hey, these got a refund? <laughs> but no, we got that stupid pirate twice. Well, whatever the case, it was no carrot. I'm very happy about that. I'm so happy. <laughs> you know, I love Ricky. <laughs> Hang on, because when we return, NES Complex snags one of the coolest toys that have come across the NES Pursuit. I found Star Wars, guess who? Guess who? Me. Then I found a uh, Mario DVD with supposedly some secrets. Yeah, the, I don't know anything about this, but this idea of forgotten Mario games or, or maybe some hidden things, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I probably already know what it's gonna say, but, but I've never seen this before, and so it might be interesting. But the coolest thing that I found all day, I think, has to be that muscle Mega Man set. No, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they, yeah same thing. Sorry, man. Would you do seven? Huh? Would you do seven dollars? No, then I'd be cheating myself for three dollars. <laughs> Muscle Mega Man set had the Yellow Devil, even though he was black, and Little Mega Man. But their muscle and their Mega Man—it's like two things, awesome things, smashed together. So, so would you do seven <laughs> fifty? No, this is not American Pickers. <laughs> and you know, I kind of think that Riff—he was kind of breathing over my shoulder. I was like, kind of not gonna lie, like slight vulgar swear words were underneath my breath while I was holding the camera. I'll do ten. You'll do ten? Why? Yeah. Yeah. I mean eight. <laughs> Would you do eight? No. <laughs> uh, and then even Gabo afterwards, he's like, oh, I'll, give you, I'll give you 12 you. for it. Like, wow. I think I found something pretty cool. Oh, How much is that? <laughs> <laughs> How much? I need ten. Oh, no, yeah, no, he's Puerto Rican, no, no, man. He's no. not taking He it, is man. Puerto Rican. That's... I wanted this thing more than anything I've kind of seen in a while, and everyone was kind of underplaying it. Coolest thing by far in the episode. I don't care what anybody else bought. There you go. Thank you. How much are you asking on the Speed Racer? Seven bucks. But you know what? It's going to be the centerpiece of my collection. No, no, it's not that awesome. But it is awesome. Seven in packs of four, 10 or 28. Those separately, you from Mattel. How many can you capture? Hard skin. That's my skin's not hard. Pixel Game Squad glasses. Get them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna fit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I got a pretty big head. Like, seriously. So, our buddy Chris has been working on completing his N64 collection, and the last game that he needs is this one. Chris is a pretty good guy, and he hooks everybody up. It's really generous, so 
I'm gonna give him this game. Oh my gosh! It's upside down. Is it really? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? No. Uh, I just gave my buddy Chris uh, Bomberman second attack on the N64. I, I, might, I might cry. Oh. I got this game a long time ago, probably 15 years ago now, for $3.50. Give me a second to let this sit in! I don't care that you're filming a show. <laughs> for those of you who uh, are into N64, you know it's shot up in price. In fact, it's hundreds of dollars at this point. It's a little bit hard to find. So I've, I've been collecting uh, all the boxes from my N64 set for a while. I was really happy to be able to give it to Chris, help him complete his collection, and uh, it's definitely uh, found its home. So what this does is it, it puts me six boxes away from the complete N64 box set. <laughs> Unreal, unbelievable. I've, I've been looking for this box and hoping to get it forever. Never thought I would ever get it, and I've got it. I never thought I would ever have this box. The, you, you are ridiculous. This is, this is incredible. <laughs> Hey, look at look at that! It's so beautiful. It's, that's real too. Let's see NFL quarterback club inside. Yep, Nineteen eighty-three Rainbow Bright doll. They were asking eight. I got them down to seven. Woo! So Gabriel is texting me as I'm walking to my car. He's like, you need to come out to my car. I have something for you. And with Gabriel, I mean, I know I've given him little things here and there, but he always outdoes himself. And I go to his car. You know me, I'm Gabo the Giver. So I got something for you. And he has the giant, giant, beautiful, perfect, lovely, almost cartoonish looking. Woo! Water. Well, no. Agua H2O. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. There you go. Traveler's bow from Zelda Breath of the Wild. This thing is like this big. It's giant. You Dude, can give it. You can the tra traveler's bow. Yeah, you can give it to soft skin Ricky. I know. No, I will keep. This is awesome, dude. This is beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Please don't kill me. It's it's in perfect condition. Like I said, I love the cartoon feel that it has to it. So Gabo, top three in my Zelda games of all time right now is Breath uh, of the Wild. Ah, my first one. He kisses Ricky, but he won't kiss me. I'd take a kiss right now from a man. Uh oh. I'm kind of scared. So, it's the Traveler's Boat, but do I have to keep it in the box or can I actually play with it? No, play with it. I can play with it. Just don't kill people, you know? Well, well there's a couple people in the office, maybe Mikey, that we could take out. Ah, uh, no. Mikey's brown, so... You know what's funny is you kind of look like Jay, and Jay's the only other man who's kissed me on the cheek. I'm kind of scared. Uh, and then... Wow! That's how it works. That's exactly how it works. That's the first time I've ever been kissed by a man. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, Jay, with the way I dress when you wear sweatpants. And with that said, we head home to Orange County, California, right by the beach where we're going to be relaxing with our wives. Isn't your wife in Washington? Yeah, she'll be back later. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> that was a rough day. That's a lot of people. But it was fun. It's fun hanging out with everybody. But next time, I'm not inviting any of you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't have to. Are you seriously asking to borrow? Oh, I cracked. I'm going through puberty. I'd rather, I'd rather eat human meat before I go vegan. <laughs> but I didn't think of you first. I'm so sorry. Next time, I'll think of you second. And then I'll work my way up to thinking of you first. And then maybe one day, I'll think of you before I think of myself. Dude, that might be promotional from a store. Oh, that, that could be the thumbnail. Really? <laughs> I'm proud to be America. Go, I'm about to go poop right now. Let's go. Whoa. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we got you done for our <laughs>